Oh, whoa. Uh, hi. Um, just wondering, hey, why are you pushing to have fossil fuels banned when you keep saying there's a cyber crash coming, Klaus? What's going on? We all know, but still pay insufficient attention Ooh, great to the Clearly. frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack. Yeah, that's what I was going to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as yeah. a whole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's I get that. That's what I'm saying. Wouldn't you know, wouldn't it be even worse inside a smart city when the grid goes down? Why not maintain access to fossil fuels? Because that's to work in a cyber crash and you know, vehicles cooking, heating. They're essential to survival. So it could be disastrous if people can't heat their homes in the middle of a freezing winter or refrigerate their food. The COVID you know, crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison. Yeah, that's what to I'm a saying. Major cyber attack. Yes, yeah, so to we use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community. I, I don't think you listen to my question. And improve our preparedness for a potential cyber pandemic. Klaus, you're really not listening here. Look, it's, it's like you're just reading one of your hammy scripts again, honestly. You know, we've had this discussion before in a previous video where I actually had to freeze you, remember? And I know you, you didn't like that. But there's only so much super villain raving I can listen to before it starts to get a bit annoying, you know? But I do hear you, you know, COVID was a lesson to prepare us for what's coming. So I guess what's coming must be more lockdowns and as you said already, massive food shortages and power outages when you start your cyber crash slash cyber pandemic that you're cooking up. Basically just a whole lot more of doing whatever you and your sicko mates tell us to do via our governments who no longer serve us but you. Thanks. You've been a great help. You can go now. I'm sorry you had to hear that. It's a bit of a strained relationship to say the least.